What's good, y'all? It's your guy, Ben Do. So, y'all know I normally don't like covering low-hanging fruit, fruit stories, you know, like the conservative stories where they be saying dumb shit. But I kind of had to because this shit baffled. It really baffled me. So, this is uh, Christy Noam, however you say her name. She's the governor of South Dakota. And um, she was recently on a call with Joe Biden where he was discussing with the governors the infrastructure plan, his bullshit, minuscule infrastructure plan that I'm going to be covering. I'm going to do a video about it on Monday. Um, I wanted to, I wanted to just take my time and research it and make sure I get all the facts straight and everything. But um, Shorty clearly doesn't know what infrastructure is and clearly doesn't know what the New Deal is. And I and the reason why also why I'm covering this story is I feel like this mindset is representative of what most conservatives think the Green New Deal is. Even though I disagree with AOC's Green New Deal and some aspects of the Green Party's Green New Deal as well. But I will admit we need a Green New Deal, but we need to approach it from the aspect of slowing down consumption as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and let the video rock out and I'll come back and get my commentary. I on a call with the White House today with all the governors talking about the specifics of this package. And I was shocked by how much doesn't go into infrastructure. It goes into research and development. It goes into housing and pipes and different initiatives, green energy. And it really is not an honest conversation we're having. So... As you can see there, she said a lot of dumb stuff. She was she was like she was listing all of the things that goes into infrastructure. Research and development goes into infrastructure. You know, green energy goes into infrastructure, hence the Green New Deal. And if you know anything about history, part of the New Deal under FDR was an infrastructure plan. Thus, you know, to start a jobs program, which is why infrastructure is so popular, because people tie it to jobs. So I just I don't understand like people how people don't understand history. They try to act like the green like the green the new deal. They either pretend like it's a bad thing or they just flat out never talk about it because it was something that pulled us out of the Great Depression. And we're you know basically in a new depression. So this is something that is sorely needed. Now Joe Biden's plan is not needed because it goes too small. Remember Bernie Sanders was proposing 16 trillion for infrastructure. China is spending I believe up more than that on their infrastructure and it's paying off for them. Their middle class is growing while our middle our middle class is shrinking. So people want to talk about, you know, they like to push this, you know, foment this neo cold war of China and everything. And they try to go at it from the neo Warhawk per, um, perspective instead of going at it from the investing in the American people perspective, because it's corruption. It's corruption. They want to funnel all the money to their fucking donors and to the donor class and not give you shit or give you just enough to get by. And, that's you know that's what's sorely needed in this country that would actually make us you know if you're into the whole competition competition thing with china that would help us compete with china but these people don't really care about that they use it as a political tool to um, get votes and get reelected and score political points and all that jazz but like this and this is the, this is a governor that is saying this shit this stupid shit that she's saying so like and, and even like she handled coronavirus badly. She's you know a lot of them like conservatives like like to deny it and everything and all that blah say blah you know all that noise. And it's like y'all know where I fall on COVID. I don't think it's as bad as they made it out to be. Like I literally dog. I literally had a homie who who got COVID and he was he, prior to this and he's a fucking idiot. That, that's my guy, but he's an idiot. But <laughs> he was eating healthy all the way up to that point, doing good. And he's a bigger guy too. And this motherfucker, as soon as he got it, he went to like his um beach house or some shit like that and was literally eating McDonald's, smoking weed, drinking, doing a little blow. And it's like, yo, <laughs> and he was straight. He was cool, like within like a week and everything. So I don't think COVID is that, you know, is as bad as, as bad as it is. And I honestly don't even if I did think it was bad, I don't have a choice because I got to go to work where I'm around dozens of people at one time. And it's hundred. It was hundreds of people in my warehouse and everything. So it was like or, going in and out not at one time but going in and out so it's like I, at some point if somebody gets it i'm fucked so that's how i feel about covid i don't think it's as bad as people are making it out to be i don't believe the numbers the death count at all i don't believe that shit either so but um but this is just the all-time new 
you know, idiot. This is this is why America is a failed state. We're arguing about spending money on infrastructure that is an investment that's going to pay off dearly. And also, as you guys know, I was talking about the naked short selling on here with my guy Alfred. Um, if um, one of the things he talked about in there is how the naked short selling stifles innovation in this country. Why is that? Because they turn over the reins to all of the corporations. They let them come in and steal intellectual property. You know, everybody likes to talk about how China steals intellectual property, which there's no evidence of. But we never talk about how corporations do that shit. And the government who's supposed to be regulating them turns a blind eye. So... You know, it, it's, 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 this is just ridiculous, man. This is why we can never have good things in this country because of shit like this. And it's like, you know, you, I'm not, and I'm not here just to shit on conservatives and everything. Conservatives do have a good, I like some of Sager's ideas, you know, all the China gating shit aside and all the other bullshit that comes with him aside. You know, he seems to be on board with, you know, a lot of what progressives, you know, fight for as, you know, as well, which is, which is a populist sentiment. We're all not going to agree on everything, but. I feel like, you know, at least conservatives like him, even when they're talking about things that, um, you know, that that they're wrong on, they genuinely believe it. They're not just parroting bullshit here. I this is kind of scary with Christy Noam because I can't tell if she's serious or not. And if she's serious, that's sad and disturbing. And if she's not, you know, kidding, if she's not, you know, she's either way. It's sad and disturbing. So I wanted to go ahead and just cover that video real quick because that shit blew my mind on Twitter when I saw that. Like you sit here and say the infrastructure plan has nothing to do with infrastructure. Then you go on to list all the things in the bill that has everything to do with infrastructure. A fair criticism would be that it's not enough, but she wouldn't say that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out there, though, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe and share emphasis on the comments because I'm going to be doing a comments video. So the com first comments video is going to be dropping today and I'm going to keep doing it every Friday. Well, I'm going to try to keep doing it every Friday, but as of right now, it's going to be every Friday tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a live stream. So look out for that. And if you're on, oh yeah. Also, if you're on Odyssey, hit that fire emoji, hit the thumbs up emoji. It's weird. I got the fire in and thumbs up on there, I believe. And I'm um, not saying that you have to, but if you can um, donate some of the library tokens on there, help support the show, support independent media. I really appreciate all the love you guys show me outside of that though. Like just talking to me on Twitter, you know, on the, in the comment section and everything. I really appreciate it. I try to comment back or at least like every comment. So um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out there, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Peace.